that right there is a perfectly shaven scalp. No one cared who I was till I put on the mask. Perfecting the head shaver wasn't easy, but I've done it. It's easier than you think, and I'm here to help you perfect your head shave too. So let's get into it. One, enter your shaving quarters like you mean business. I prefer a head shave in the PM because it gives my scalp time to relax overnight and get me off to a fresh start in the morning. Two, for best results, do this in your birthday suit. You're a specimen to be appreciated, not hidden. Number three, fail to prepare, prepare to fail. It's never been more applicable. Don't overdo it though. Warm, hot water over the sink, six to eight splashes and rubs will get you off to a decent start. Now I use shave soap. Soap removes the need for a brush. You can do this all with your hand. I just like to keep it simple these days. Get it nice and moist. Really work in that soap. Don't be shy. Get it all over there, but not in your eyes. Number five, every professional out there needs a precision tool. The head shave is no exception. I currently use the twig razor from Leaf and you can check it out in the description box. Practicing with one of those disposable razors at the start is perfectly acceptable. And that's how I did it, but I've put in my 10,000 hours. This is the next level stuff here. This is the cream of the crop. If your blade's two to three shaves old, switch out for a new one, relax. It's plastic free, which gives you peace of mind and a guilt-free shave, which means you're enjoying it. Now take a close look here guys, I start at the back, that's where things are the most tough, but that's where things are the most fresh, recently lathered up there. Please check out that thumb position, this is absolutely crucial. I use short, sharp strokes on the upstroke there, followed by one long stroke to really clean things up, and that right there is a perfectly shaven scalp no irritation no redness no hair exactly what i want slightly overlap and finish up the back of your head Next up, you're gonna be going on the sides. Go across the grain here. I repeat, across the grain is absolutely fine at the sides and behind the ears here. This is the cut zone. You go too hard here, you're gonna end up with an injury and you don't want that. The top there, you've hardly got anything going on there anyway, more than likely. This bit's pretty easy. I can get away with longer strokes here and just tidy things up. But again, do not lose concentration here. When you're tidying up willy-nilly little shaves, that's absolute prime cutting real estate. So don't push it too far. Now, if you took my advice from step two, your transition here is gonna be really easy. Jump in the shower, wash it all off, Combine this with your evening shower for a more time-saving effectiveness. Prepare for the aftercare. Grab your post head shave product of choice. Rub it in liberally. Don't be shy here. You're gonna leave it overnight. Everything's gonna soak up nicely. In the morning, likely no need to apply more. You're up, you're fresh, you're feeling as good as you look. That is the professional head shave. Take it, run with it, get out there, head held high. Thank you for watching guys. I wish you nothing but the best.